All right, guys. Yes, yes, yes. I did just hit a thousand subscribers. Fuck with me with this Empire re uh, review. Ha! <laughs> I see you guys in a minute. Holla, holla if you hear me. Ooh, ooh, na 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 na. A thousand if you hear me. Thousand if you hear me. guys hello how you guys doing we got some party in the two yes tiki hit over a thousand subscribers today yay i'm sorry it was from some fuck shit but hey congratulations however we get it we gotta get it y'all <laughs> thank everybody for watching me subscribing to me always believing in me and just hear me out this morning Yes, I was kind of in my motherfucking feelings this morning, and I felt like I needed to get some shit off my heart. Some of you guys may know what's going on, Same, some may not, but it is what it is. Moving forward, you live and you learn, and I learned. I learned the hard way. <laughs> Be careful of them motherfucking wolves and sheep clothing. That's all I'm going to say, and I'm going to leave that alone. All right, Empire, y'all. I was watching Empire last night, but uh, bitch got distracted, okay? So basically, what's going on in Empire? I'm just trying to hit on some of the shit I think that's going on. <laughs> My little scenario on what's popping. <laughs> you know, y'all, hey, what's popping, what's popping? But uh, Hakeem, Hakeem is upset. He clowning Boo Boo Kitty because, you know, this bitch pregnant by him. You know, that's what went off last week. And, um... He upset because he's going to have to let Dora, Nora, whoever her fucking name know, that, you know, he's gotten someone else pregnant. And he's asked little mama to marry him. So, he's kind of pissed off and upset about how life playing out for him. But, you know, sometimes, you know, when you dish out shit, you got to be able to take it, you know. So, he got to let her know. He got to let Dora know that he got Boo Boo Kitty pregnant, okay? Y'all, I'm just going to hit on what I can remember might not be a great review, my review. Basically, um, Lucius, Cookie, Jamal, they all talking about, you know, who may become the CEO of the place. And we still, you know, from the last time, the shareholders, um, you know, they did the meeting for the shareholders. And that's when they basically booted Hakeem motherfucking ass out. And uh, me, myself, personally, I thought that Cookie would become the CEO. But as we find out at the end... The shareholders want Cookie and motherfucking Lucius to split it down the middle and both run Empire. I mean, you know, they both put their uh, heart into it. They sweat, you know. Cookie done served 17 motherfucking years. And uh, they done sold dope and they did whatever they can to make this company pop. So why not let these motherfuckers run the company? Who created the motherfucker? Okay. So, uh, basically, Boo Boo Kitty, uh, telling Jamal, you know, that your dad came over. He basically threatened me. He said, bitch, deliver the baby and get the fuck on. You know, we don't want to have nothing else to do with you, but we do want the baby. So, anyway, Hakeem is like, is that right? Because when she show up, I don't know, it's a nursery that he had did at Empire. Is it a nursery he had did at the house? But he had it all fixed, baby proof, all done up. Because he's saying, hey, I got to step up and become a father. You know, I got to... I got to, you know, grow the fuck up, in other words. I got to become a man. We got all these grown-ass motherfucking kids running around here. Y'all making babies. Y'all can take care of these motherfuckers. So, Hakeem, he's ready to step up. You know, he mans up. He tells motherfucking Dora, hey, look, I got this bitch pregnant. This, gets, this bitch get pissed the fuck off. She take that motherfucking ring off. She give it to his motherfucking ass. He's heartbroken. But he steps up and he do what the fuck he got to do, okay? Even though... Dora not having it, you know. Yeah, we got motherfucking Andre still dealing with this bipolarism, you know. So, Cookie said, you know, why not get an organization going? And, um, in other words, I think Cookie want to kind of get out there that it's a uh, mental Ill illness in her family. But she don't know how she want to get it out there. So, you know, she got this idea going about having a company. And she said, you know, why not have... This crazy motherfucker Andre, you know, be over the organization and, you know, in Cookie Head, I think, 
why not let this motherfucker come out and tell people he crazy and let's address this ignorant motherfucker, not ignorant, but let's address my son and his issues and let's support the organization while we do it, you know. Let's kill two birds with one motherfucking stone. So they like, oh, okay, you know, it sounds good, sounds good. So the reporter's still running up and behind Lucius because she wants the story. She wants to tell the story about Lucius and his fucked up family, his fucked up life. Uh, little senorita, okay? Cookie really not happening because every time she look up, that go little mama. She young, you know, y'all, we older. And this little bitch, every time she look up, she's somewhere in Lucius' face. Cookie is not happening. Cookie getting a little jealous, y'all. You know, and the kids is like, you know what? I see mama and daddy trying to get back together. Hakeem like, nah, we can't have that shit. We can't have these two motherfuckers get back together. That's like oil and motherfucking water. They do not need to mix, okay? So anyway, um, Boo Boo Kitty, I guess she gets back to the house. And you know what, y'all? Hit me down in the comments. I think I, I seen at the end, and I didn't rewatch it because I wasn't finna rewatch it. I don't know, it says something about why did she end up in the hospital. She was threatening a miscarriage when Cookie showed up at the house. The paramedics is coming and they got Boo Boo Kitty coming and she on a stretcher. And um, Cookie jumps in the ambulance with her and go to the hospital with her. And she knows she tried to take her to a safe place in her head and tell her to relax, quit stressing. So she won't lose the baby, you know. And you know what, all y'all think that she should lose the baby because she pushed Rhonda down. But I'm still sticking with Andre push that bitch down them motherfucking stairs, y'all. I'm sorry. I seen a pair of red bottoms and they were men red bottoms. Y'all hit me in the comments. Y'all let me know who y'all think push Ronda down the stairs. It's too easy for it to be Boo Boo Kitty. Y'all, we got all these twists, turns, all these plots. You can't tell me they just... Boo Boo Kitty, we think you jealous. We think you want to have a baby. You end up pregnant. Go push this bitch down. No, Lee Daniels got to put a twist and a turn in there. He got to make it good for us, y'all. So I really think Andre. I'm sticking with Andre. We got, I think, two more shows and then the season finale. Andre did it. Andre did it. Andre did it. So anyway, she on her way to the hospital. Uh, Cookie and I in the uh, paramedics with this bitch. And Cookie can't stand this hoe because she was getting ready to get married to Lucius. And, you know, you know, it is what it is. But this bitch, you know, Cookie feeling sorry for her. Hakeem is her baby. She's like, go to a safe place, whatever. What now, bitch, whatever you do, don't you lose that motherfucking baby. Cookie, bitch, I beat your ass. You lose that baby. Cookie! And <laughs> James go, well. So, anyway, they make it to the hospital. And, um... Everybody shows up. Cookie gets on the phone. She calling Lucius, and Lucius getting ready to he get ready to hide. he get ready to freak, 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 and fuck the little young chick the interviewer. And Cookie blowing up his phone, and she calling Hakeem, and she letting everybody know get to the motherfucking hospital. This bitch finna lose the baby, and you know for some reason she's the the baby is the heir to the empire, the the, the uh, lion's empire. Fuck they got y'all. But anyway, y'all, this TV, this I so popular, this I Wednesday night so popular, so we gonna go with it. This the hair to the throne, you know. So everybody is getting there. They like, oh my god, oh my god, boo boo kitty gonna lose the baby. We gotta get here, we gotta get here, y'all. Feeling this hair, I'm feeling myself, feeling myself, I'm feeling it, feeling myself. So anyway, y'all. Everybody get to the hospital. Even Lucius bring his motherfucking ass there. Him and Thirsty. Thirsty. What a motherfucking name. Even Thirsty shows the fuck up, okay? So, anyway, moving forward. Let's speed this shit up. She don't lose. I mean, she was threatening the miscarriage. We find out she five months. Both of the motherfucking uh, mama standing there. Cookie standing there. Her mother standing there. What a coincidence. And, uh... Boo Boo Kitty, Anika Mama, like, uh, Lucius can't come in, and they're like, you know, whatever, let him come in. Uh, Hakeem shows up, you know, and, uh, Lucius sit back and he evaluates that Hakeem look like he growing the fuck up. He's manning up, in other words. He look like he's doing the right thing. So, you know, he was like, okay, okay. He, uh, let, um... He sent, I think, uh, the little young girl some kind of notice saying, you know... You know what, y'all? Hit me down in the comments. I was paying attention, but I wasn't paying attention. I got sidetracked it last night, y'all. But uh, anyway, Lucius has noticed that Hakeem has manned up and he wants the baby, okay? 
So Dora, when she took the ring off and uh, he asked her, you know, is you still going to marry me or whatever, whatnot. At that point, she wasn't going to marry him. She took the ring off, laid it down. But toward the end, I seen her show up at the hospital to see Boo Boo Kitty Hakeem sitting there. He looking so devastated, so heartbroken. And of course, they kept Boo Boo Kitty sleep the whole motherfucking time, you know. Y'all, leave down here. No, he sure writing the shit out this shit. This shit is like, it's going like this. Down the woods, up the hills, and to Grandmama house we go. So anyway, Dora shows up and uh, she see he's sitting there and he looks sad, whatever, whatnot. She walks in. And he said, I've been carrying this ring around with me ever since you took it off, you know. So, and uh, he takes it out of his pocket, puts it back on her finger. So, I guess they're still engaged, you know. I guess they're going to work it out. That kid still look like they made it up, okay. Y'all, so the motherfucking cookie is tired of this little young bitch showing up everywhere. You know, when Lucius do show up to the hospital, he smell like motherfucking perfume. And she say, um, you smell like cheap perfume. He say, oh, you jealous, in my own words, y'all. And uh, she say, bitch, uh, look, leave that little senorita bitch alone and I'll get you motherfucking somebody who will come scoop that story up, publish it, and... Uh, Get you some real motherfucking uh, hits on that motherfucker. Just kick that bitch to the curb, in other words. Because they, I think they're kind of feeling each other again. So, you know, Cookie, woman of her words. The next day she have Time Magazine, y'all, and my motherfucking words. Come scoop up the motherfucking story and uh, kick the little young bitch to the motherfucking curb. Because not only was she trying to just publish the story, she was trying to get at Lucius. And Cookie was checking her the fuck out. Cookie wasn't having it. Cookie! Cookie was not motherfucking having it, y'all. So the bitch got pissed off and mad when she seen that uh, he gave the story to somebody else. She said, you knew this story would put me on the map. Why you do this to me? He's like, <laughs> basically, bitch, you snooze, you lose, you know. And that's how he walking out. Like, you know, bitch, fuck you. Fuck you, you know. So uh, she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I got something for your ass. And she see Andre standing up over there. Because they had some kind of um, showcase. or re Something going on. I don't know what the fuck was going on. And she gets up on the mic and like, if your kids support you with this shit that whatever y'all trying to represent. I think it was the, um, I don't know if it was, y'all, I ain't gonna even speak on it. Anyway, she was like, if your kids support you, where they at? And uh, he, Cookie jumped on the mic like, bitch, don't worry about where they at. Figure out what you going to do when I finna, uh, get your story to somebody else. Shit. Oh, fuck. Shit. So, anyway, y'all, sorry. I heard something making a noise. My fucking candle is draining over here. So, anyway... Make a long story short, um, boo, uh, the little young bitch walks up and she hands this em envelope to Andre. He like, what is this? She say, I think this your grandmama, you know. She's in this group home and uh, I think she's alive. And of course it goes off and he's going to find out, you know, what's going on, what's popping, you know. Lucius told us the grandmama was dead, but the bitch is a good reporter, so she did check to see, was he telling her, was it the truth? Y'all. So anyway, uh, this motherfucking bitch walks up with this paper, and she's pissed the fuck off at uh, Lucius for giving her story away. She hand this envelope to uh, Andre, and she said, I think your grandmother is alive. You know, she's in a group home. And it goes off with this motherfucker looking at the information and goes to find out, is this, you know, his grandmother? And y'all, we all know that Lucius, you know, family's been dealing with this mental illness, this bipolarism. But um, we find out that Lucius is just a motherfucking liar, y'all. Y'all can't believe something in the water ain't clean. But, um... Well, look like next week is going to be on and popping, y'all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. 
thank you guys for helping me achieve my th uh, thousand subscribers and I should have been announcing that when I hit a thousand that I would do a giveaway so now I gotta figure out what am I gonna do because I need to do a giveaway because I did hit my thousand as soon as I figure it out I'm gonna let you guys know y'all have a lucky motherfucking day bye guys